Wake up, it's time to die with Cliff Carpton and Seth Ferguson. <laughs> so, you know, so nice. What you got going on there? What the hell is that in the road? Yeah, he does! And my very special guest, Sex Ferguson. All right, well, as you heard my good friend, Freight Train, say, this is the first ever Wake Up! Time to die episode with Cliff Compton of all time, and we are live from the High Spots Theater in Charlotte, North Carolina, of all places. And uh, hell has frozen over. They have decided to give me a couple of cameras, HD, and allow me to pick guests, whoever I want. High Spots told me they said, Whoever the fuck you want on this show, we'll get them. They said, If you want like someone like Cena. Austin, I said, nah, I guess, but I wanted to give something to the fans that they really want. And part of the reason is I got Freight Train here, who is in a dashiki, by the way, but there's a guy out there that everybody knows, but he doesn't do a lot of interviews. And uh, I don't know, I've always wanted to sit down and talk to him, and it was a real pain in the ass to get him here, but we got him here. Uh, he's been wrestling, I believe, for maybe 40 45 years it just depends on his mood uh so let's you want to bring him in let's not waste yeah. any more time ladies and gentlemen the man the myth the legend the one and the only mr sex ferguson ladies and gentlemen sex ferguson hey god damn it you fucking hillbilly good to see you Hi, how are you kid oh, oh shit you <laughs> smell like weed what's up man what's oh up with you i remember you used to do the train gimmick right yeah. Get you! Yeah, that was me. Good to see you. Good to see you. We can you. use you down in Continental, big man like you. Make yeah. you a monster heel. Oh, uh -huh. sitting on my road food. <laughs> hey, beer me, would you, big man? Yeah, I'll give you a beer. Oh, fuck it, ain't right. Here What's crapping? <laughs> First of all, that was quite the uh, quite the entrance. Is it, should I call you sex or do you prefer Mr. Ferguson? These fucking things are a dollar a piece. <laughs> That's fine with you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just want to know, do you like, do you like to be called sex or do you like Mr. Ferguson? <laughs> Boys call me sex. Last time I checked, you was one of them. <laughs> but when they called me, they said you changed your gimmick. You're just doing some kind of deal where you're out of New York or something now? Because she's a city slicker before. I remember that on the TV. I don't watch much of what this does anymore. Listen, listen, this is going to take some But time. I think sex, sex. I'm hearing from a bunch of the boys that they got something for me to come back in. I don't know if it's going to be a Hall of Fame listen, deal. I, I warned you before be the show to take it easy on that's, the cocaine because swagger. we only have two hours here, all right? I'm good. I got questions from the cocaine, audience. Cocaine, I'm eating a fucking cheeseburger, Hillbilly. Christ if I had to drip, you think I'd be able to chew and swallow? <laughs> Hell no. Anyway, you, you said hello to Freight Train, I hope. Mm. Did you say hello good. to my girlfriend back there? We call her Sugar Tits. That's old well, Sugar let's, Tits back let's there. Let's check the fucking proof, pal. <laughs> take a look at this train. Look at old sex. That's a sex. Oh, joke. she smells like one of yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, sex, I'm not gonna lie, you look great. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Is that my beer you just took? Look, free hot dogs. <laughs> easy, sex, easy. Easy, big fella. Easy, easy. Yeah, we got now, more. Now, let me ask you a question. All right, this is the Walmart? first. Hey. Okay. okay. Just relax. Can you, can you give me a second here? I know, yeah, you're, I know you're excited. You're, you're... I, I gave you two fucking hours. <laughs> it took you two fucking months to give me the money in cash. I know. Here's the problem with Call sex. me to book an office. Eh? <laughs> I want to do this goddamn PayPal. I got no fucking computer. So we try to book Sex Ferguson, and he says he needs his payout, and he tells us what it is, and he tells us he only accepts cash, cash, and cash, and he requested all singles and a roll of quarters. What the fuck are you gonna do? Well, you're like any standard promoter. You already fucked me. I asked <laughs> you for a dirty 30 of Natty Lights. The hell's this shit? Water? Let's get back to the PayPal thing. Now, in 2014, sex, everybody is using PayPal. This isn't 1986 and we're not working for Watts. This if is, it uh... don't come in a white fucking envelope <laughs> and you can't snort shit through it, I don't accept it for fucking pay. Number one. All right. Number two, Somebody's been around, has my fucking pedigree, you'd think you'd show them a little goddamn respect. Especially somebody like you worked in New York, going around, you do, you do the ring of honor with the kids and the spots and the flips, and you go to Africa. You, I read about you. 
I get PWI, son. Complimentary. Last 32 fucking years. Pro Don't come to my I'll house. Say. I pick it up at the booking office, steal it from the <laughs> shitter, but that's all me. <laughs> that's Nobody has a goddamn booking office anymore. That's, that's where I'm confused here. Like, nowadays, you go to the show, you do the little match, then you get paid. Like, there's, you don't call someone and say, hey, where do I pick up my money? That's where I get all my messages. That's where I pay my electric bill when it gets paid. That, I run everything out of the booking office. You th I live under the fucking radar. This, <laughs> this is a cash business. You understand me? Well, I can't have a physical fucking address or a domicile where these motherfuckers from the federal government can come find my ass, okay? <laughs> now there's my plan is for Vince to pay my way out of this fucking IRS Irwin R. Shyster issue that I have. So my comeback impending is not doomed. It is for fucking certain because listen to this. This is how I got these motherfuckers. They're gonna pay off a two hundred thousand dollar tax bill. Two hundred right? grand? Relax. After they're done doing that, they gotta do something with me. They gotta make their fucking money back. Oh, that sounds like a bunch of horse shit to me, Seth. Now it's gonna work. Let, let, let me ask you a question, though. Let's go back to, to, to the problem that was actually getting you here. Because you, you told, uh... I don't drive much anymore. <laughs> myself, anyhow. This is, you know, I'm the host. You're the guest. I ask, you know, let's do a little, little work with me, please. You want, you want complimentary fucking banner? This is the problem with you kids today. You're used to having somebody write this shit for you. You oh. see me? It comes right out of my fucking mouth. I'm what they call organic. You're old school. You damn right. Call that shit in the ring, right? What do you think of this pre-planned bullshit Call it on today? the fly. Hey, remember part of our deal, too, is you got to do me a little training because I am getting ready for my fucking comeback. I know. Your comeback in New York. Yeah. Now, when you say you're going to, New you're training for New York. To the average person, that makes no sense. That's like saying, "I'm going to California." I'm what do you want me to California. say? The fucking NFL. But, but when you say New York, tell the audience. This is a worldwide audience here. Tell them what you mean by going. Listen, to New you York. told me that now this business has changed. We can shoot. We can talk openly. If they don't know what the fuck New York means, then they obviously ain't buying these damn tapes. <laughs> well, they're DVDs, actually. Uh, that's besides the point. Uh, so let's DVD uh, my New ass. York. Explain explain to my audience. Tommy here. Dreamer used to finish with a DVD. <laughs> Death Valley Driver. You are damn right. Okay. Uh, Kicked uh, out on Juan. New York to 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 the the common folk. Big Apple, the Mecca. Yeah, that is the WWE. Home of the Garden. The WWE, correct? The Garden. Yeah, MSG. The MSG Network, kid. Now uh, you watch that. According to your Wikipedia. Yeah. Uh, you, you once worked for the WWWF. Is this true? More than fucking it, once, pal. I don't know what you've been reading. I'm just straight off the Wikipedia. It's, you know, this, this is for Vince Senior. You need to get the pro wrestling almanac. Uh. If you want to read up on my credentials and my Fed cred. I know. Uh, so I'm asking you, did you... He's <laughs> a thirsty guy here. He's a camel. Did you work? Bear me, big man. You want a dollar? You're fucking right. Does bear shit in woods? Fuck yes, it does. Thank you, son. <laughs> so, so back to the WWWF. Uh huh. Did Did you actually work for Vince Senior? Because I, you all don't my look bookings, that old. all my bookings were handled through Jack Tunney in the Canadian office at that <laughs> Jesus time. Jesus Christ. I, he I was fucking, red hot in Saska fucking town, and he ran the towns president. up there. You just everyone knows what's going on. Oh, he I forgot. This shows a shoot. <laughs> it's a fucking shoot. Jack Tunney was a, a TV personality. He was not actually. Oh, you the want president. me to tell him how George and Blackjack used to give us our finishes? <laughs> huh? Is that what you want to hear? You want so me I... to say it's fucking fake? Well, it ain't. You see the way I fucking walk? Does that look fake to you? That ain't fucking fake, Domino. <laughs> All right, buddy. Uh, uh, like I said, uh, in getting you here, Let I. Let me call... see if I can work with you or not. Lock up with me. Christ Almighty. Jesus Christ, kid! K Fame is dead, motherfucker! You yeah. gotta loosen up! I'm loosen up. You gonna work with me? You gotta loosen I'm up. Loosen I up. talk like this, I work like this. Relax. I'm loosen up. All right. You gotta learn how to loosen up with me. All right, men. now let's talk. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, Get on your hat well you, you know are. what? We haven't worked together yet, son, but I look forward to it. Mm -hmm. no, no. Tell your local promoters. <laughs> Yeah, I will. Thank you, pal. Tell my promoters about it, too. Well, good. I want you to come down tomorrow and I will see you in the damn ring. Now, listen. <laughs> what? You told me over the phone to fly. Is that you your breath or mine? <laughs> it's, it's yours. <laughs> Fuck me, bro. <running. laughs> I got a fucking date tonight, too. <laughs> you told me, buddy, on the phone that uh -huh. you hold a record with Delta Airlines and you have one billion sky miles. And you told me 
that you could fly here for free because we're on a budget, as you can see. Yeah, I'm triple fucking diamond, pal. You're on a. I get a complimentary blow, Jay, when I get on the motherfucker. <laughs> well, we... I get to go in the back and I just stand there with my hands behind my head going, my. <laughs> There's no way you have a billion sky miles. You have to be, that's a joke, no? I mean, I know you're a funny guy, but you don't have a billion sky miles. There's no way. I've worked on every fucking continent that there is. Every continent? I spent 17 years in the goddamn Maritimes. How would I not have a billion sky miles? 17 years in the Maritimes? Yeah, working on top as a baby. <laughs> who, who was you working with up there? Oh, well, I started out with Randy Poffo, then they took him up to oh. New York. He was a hot little heel kid for us. That's the macho man, Randy Savage, to the Oh, uh, I fucking know who he is. He's a legend. Show a little respect. <laughs> I'm showing a lot of respect. You Thanks. worked with Randy Savage? No, many times. Really? Yeah, how do you think I got such pristine timing? So you're telling me you and Randy were running, what, wild in, what, Kentucky and whatnot? The fucking Maritimes, son. <laughs> Don't you know geography? <laughs> how many territories did you work? I've been to a few. I've been to a few. So tell, tell me what it was like to work with Randy prior to his, uh, his massive success in the WWE. Things were great with Randy, you know, and then they he went back to Tennessee, and him and his daddy were running that outlaw group down there, and then he got scooped up by Vince before he came back to drop the title to me. And then they brought in Scotty fucking Goldman. <laughs> your, your, your timeline is way off. That's it. You talk Paphos. This was 76. Poffos is a very a very well known name in professional wrestling. Now, well, what about Lanny Poffo? Are you familiar with him? Because yeah, there's some he's legendary... a poet, and he damn sure knows it. <laughs> there's a lot of legendary stories about Lanny and certain things he can do. Now, now you claim to have worked <laughs> for the Poffos for 17 years. I don't even think they ran for 17 years, but uh, is this true? Could he do some pretty kinky shit? Brother, he could strut like Fargo, had hair like Garvin, every little hood rat. He called her darling. And I ain't gonna tell tales out of school on Good Brother Poffo because I don't want him to get all fired up at me at the next one of them conventions we do at Rahway. But uh, New I'll tell you this, he packs a fucking right hand on him if you cross him. <laughs> I know. All right, so we won't, we won't, we won't get into the, the whole mystery. Oh, of you want to hear about debauchery? <laughs> I'll show you fucking debauchery. Let me go in that back room with freight train, pal. I took a train here, motherfucker. You took a train here? Yeah, you fucked up my sky miles when you called from a flight. <laughs> They specifically told us, actually, you are on the no-fly list. It was Sex Ferguson and a bunch of fucking terrorists. How do you explain this? Goddamn GHB. <laughs> GHB? That's a dangerous drug, boy. <laughs> no shit. I like to smoke grass, and I like to crush my beers like everybody else. I'm, I'm, I'm no stranger to a dance in the nose candy. But you stay the fuck away from GHB. So you're telling the youth of America to stay away from, what is it, GHB? Yeah, if it's or liquid, HGH. they say it's going to make you sleep good and spike your growth horn levels, hormone levels. Don't use it. Don't use it. So this is yeah. coming cost from... Yeah. cost me $53,000, buddy. That's a lot of money. In a fucking month. That's a lot you're of money. damn right that's a lot of money. Now you put that in... That was the... more than Watts paid me in six fucking months. <laughs> We had uh, the tag straps down there. You, yeah, you had the straps? Yeah. Who were you working with back then? Paul Lee, the nature boy. <laughs> Jesus, there's a name from the past. He's still alive? He's still kicking around? I reckon. <laughs> it looks like you pissed yourself there. <laughs> Listen, am I, am, I, am I a guest on this show, or did I come here to be in Salerson? <laughs> You're a guest. You're the first guest ever. How does it feel you to be the first? You got damn freight train laughing at me? No, we're laughing with you. Taking advantage of me. You. Laughing with Trying you. Trying to take Laugh all my paydays on the indies. <laughs> Sex, right? I'm a name. I know you're a name. You're a legend. Yeah. An absolute legend. Now, can we can I we don't get lace in? up for less than 125 trans and a dirty 30 in that light. Wait a second. You won't lace up for how much? 125? Less than 125. A dirty 30 and netty. <laughs> Rim job if I can get one. Kayfabe. <laughs> you said kayfabe doesn't exist anymore. I mean, motherfucker, are you participating in kayfabe or are you not? We need to figure out which fucking column you're in. I'm trying oh, to keep the man. shit alive here for the rest of the hours. All right, so there, there's a little... Think I, you think I don't know about a cell phone? Hell no, I don't want to call my goddamn wife for three months. I call from the booking office. If I happen to pull over, which I don't because I have a piss bottle. Have you ever cooked your food on the engine block? Fried eggs? <laughs> Yeah, son. Oh, yeah. I'll make you an omelet smoke at Waffle House outside. There's a lot, there's a lot of mystique to you, Sex, Fer sex Ferguson. I, I don't know why. Can I, I'll just call you Sex. Yeah, any weed? 
<laughs> still there, buddy. I got a little GHB in the back. Freight train's got some for sale. You're just rotten motherfuckers, what you are. <laughs> rotten to the cult. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of mystique with a guy like Sex Ferguson because, you know, you claim to have wrestled pretty much in the 60s. Oh. <laughs> 70s, 80s, 90s, and you're currently active, correct? I'm making a fucking comeback. I know you're training for New York. Uh. Speaking of my comeback, we got a couple hours here. I was wondering if uh, maybe you got some trainee or something. Somebody get in there and give me a nice tackle. I get, get in there and work with me a little there's bit. There's a lot of young talent here at high spots training to be up and coming stars like yourself. I'm sure we can find somebody. You got one over there now? Uh, no. Let's save that for later, buddy. I mean, I could, let me see. Actually, How about let's bring that kid? A, yeah, br hey, kid, come here. We call him Fuckboy. Fuckboy. This is one of the. Wait, 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 why don't we take a look? You know, they ain't letting you say fuck on TV no more. We're going to have to change no, no, that. No, no, no. This We're going to send him to Memphis. This is an up and coming professional wrestler. Can you give him some advice? His trunks, his look. Uh, I right. mean, would, 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 would New York like this? Your trunks are too fucking big. Okay. <laughs> I need to see more of what's going to put dinner on the table, son. We're going to run your baby face. I need to see more dick, okay? I need more to see dick. More, more dick. You, yeah. know, you ever heard of a razor? Huh? Yeah. It looks like you fucking slept with the berserker, okay? <laughs> you need to shave your damn legs. You like that one freight train like Let that. Let me see your cool. armpits. Oh, you look like two cunts. Oh, <laughs> That's damn right. Turn around, do a full 360 for me. <laughs> we need to get you some more trashy tattoos. They like that in the South. And what you got going on there, what, who is that, the Roadrunner? Show that to the damn camera. Man. Yeah, there's a big, a lot of viewers here. That's too classy for me. And you know what? I'm thinking, I, first I wanted to run your baby face, but you got you got barrel chest on you. I like a barrel chested heel, okay? I like a heel All that right. I believe could win a fucking fight. So what I want you to do is I want you to concern yourself with putting some more weight into your midsection. Right here. Yes, there. You want him to get fatter? I want him to do sets of four with the heaviest dumbbells he can lift. <laughs> Only chest press, three days a week. I want you to do Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Six sets of four, okay? And then I want you to eat as many as them fucking McDoubles. They're only a dollar that you can fucking stomach. You shave your legs. You start eating the McDoubles. You do your chest sets. We got to grow that hair out, kid. <laughs> What's your natural color? <laughs> I think it's brown. Yeah, we'll bleach it white. <laughs> we'll bleach it white, and we'll get you like a uh, feathery gimmick to go around your neck. A feather boa. A boa. Maybe, uh... Maybe we paint his face. He's not that good looking. Yeah, we can paint his face up a little bit. Maybe get some sequins on his jacket yeah, there, yeah. you know? And get something on his hands. Your hands are just gnarly <laughs> as fuck. You look like a dying pit bull. Yeah. Uh, you got a calcium deficiency or some shit? You bring up a good point, actually. And those knees, we get, you gotta do something with, we get them some AMAs. You are a nubby knee motherfucker, you know that? <laughs> Let me see you jump. Go! <laughs> oh, this dick's right in my face. I told you, we need more dick. Now, whether we run them heel or face, more dick! You agree with me on this. The key to any successful professional wrestler is the promo. Oh, yeah. Should we ask? Fuck boy here to give us about well, 10 seconds. Well, let's do what any self-respecting guy in a regional wrestling territory would do. Have him shotgun himself a beer real quick. <laughs> and then I want to hear you speak from the heart. Tell me about mama. And make me believe you're fighting for her. For the title. Come on, for drink your beer. Don't be a cocksucker. 10 seconds. This is this is a six-figure deal, or are we talking seven figures here? Come on, you pissed drunk hippie. Drink the beer. I'm just really trying to get myself together. He's nervous. You know why he's nervous? He's been watching me on motherfucking TV for so goddamn long, it's hard to talk to me. I run into this a lot, especially when I'm out on the street. Six, Six, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a fan. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I, I've modeled myself kind of after you, sir. Well, you're hey, doing this, a piss-poor job. This isn't a fucking make-a-wish right here. We're doing a, a talk show, all right? You know, I don't have, a, I don't have time for uh, <laughs> sex. What are you doing over there? I had to piss. <laughs> you know, this is... We would give an opportunity to meet Sex Ferguson and get evaluated, and you're asking him for a goddamn autograph. That's unprofessional. Give us that fucking How beer much back. for that beer's left? <laughs> it's, it's a goddamn amateur hour, ain't it? Now, is, it, is this the, do you have a problem with this? I mean, this is what you see in 2014. I mean, when, when you were breaking and everyone was jacked up, huge muscles, long hair, no, no, ready to fucking no, take no, the no, world no, over. No, no, the common man, the working man, <laughs> believes he can... He could be this piece no, of shit. No, you gotta be a fucking superhero to be a pro wrestler. Look at you. Wow. Six foot nine, 300 pounds. This guy looks like a piece of shit. 
He, no one's gonna believe that he can kick Sex Ferguson's ass. You know what I this think? This is a slap in the face to you right. in the profession. I don't think you can kick what? my ass at all. Can you? Can you work? Uh, Get up there in that ring. What? Teach your motherfucking ass to think. Is what I'm holding. Oh, Jesus. I, I, Hold on. We're gonna go on location here. Get in there before I make you squat, motherfucker. Now, we didn't sign off on this, so if you get hurt in there, it's all on. I've been doing this since you was a twinkle in your daddy's eye, Domino. <laughs> you don't worry, you're bringing a little head on my face. All right. We got Puck Boy and Sex. Sex, how's the hit? Why don't you use your best fucking tool and learn something? You know how to work? I've been training for about a month. Sacral, bitch! Sex, let's bring it back to the set fucking here. Dumbass dick shit marks trying to get in my fucking business. That's <laughs> what's wrong with Who fucking trained you? <laughs> huh? You lied when you said Rod Price. Rod Price ain't no fucking dip shit. You owe me money. <laughs> I don't care how long we've been friends. I know you respect me, but you owe that's bullshit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I didn't tell you to get in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Freight train, did you see that? Yeah, I seen it. What'd you think? That was impressive. <laughs> there there right. it is. No, you know, you tell happen. that kid I don't know how to work, right? Yeah. That's what I've been trying to tell him. <laughs> I told you he was new. Take a seat, buddy. Are you training these guys? I'm not training anybody. No. Take a seat. Let's. Uh... I'd like to see you do 500 Hindus, Mark. <laughs> Well, I gotta say, are you are you enjoying yourself on the first episode of Wake Up Time to Die? I was. <laughs> this is a monumental event. I mean, it's... where are my glasses? Here you go, right here. Thanks, trains. I got well. pending rape charges. I gotta keep my ass from. <laughs> <laughs> pending rape charges? Are you are you saying that you intend to rape somebody? I think, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little gassy tonight, huh? Oh yeah. No, all right, I mean, yeah, I had a hell of a party last night. I didn't have it. I, I went to it. I wasn't exactly invited, but I, uh, I brought a, I brought a garbage sack full of them eight by tens for me when I was working for Don Owen. I had the long blonde hair, you know, and man, I was all grazed up, just it's up certain... there in the ring, my old lat spread hanging out. I was strutting just a show. It's a show or a party. Oh, yeah, I took these pictures to a party of me. <laughs> gave them out to everybody. All the guys gave them their girlfriends, you know. Caused a little bit of a problem at the end of the night. Somebody wanted a piece of old sex, but apparently she was spoken for. <laughs> now, sex, you, 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 don't, you don't have a problem with uh, going with another man's lady, I would imagine. The name me? Like, you like Sex Ferguson, a name like Sex Ferguson. Oh, I've done it all, A to Z, pal. A to Z. Yeah, 100 times over, buddy. All right, so you went to, you went to was this I like lost my virginity in the Sudan when I was fucking 11. What's that say about me? The Sudan. Isn't that where for uh, Abdul the Butcher is from? Yeah, madman from Sudan. Who you think brought me over? Oh, I didn't know. I didn't. Ah, damn. You've lightened since since your since your youth. 
I was born in France. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. Bordeaux, to be exact. Anyway. Yeah, then raised in Paris, Kentucky. <laughs> Fuck me, Reddit. I got them all night long, kid. Fuck you. So you're trying to tell us that last night you were at like a what, like a fraternity house? Oh or? no, I was just in. Uh, because we're in Charlotte. I'm currently not uh, holding a permanent owned domicile. Okay, <laughs> so I'm staying in a. Um, they're scattered apartment homes. We'll call them. Okay. It's in a uh, a part of town that it's a it's it's a fine little place, you know. And some kids were outside and they's cooking and then they's drinking. And I walk down to the Quickie Mart and I pick me up a couple four locos and then I started reminiscing and thought about how I could change these kids' lives because you know that's what we do put smiles on motherfuckers' faces. Yeah, what are you what are you talking about right now? I was talking about going to a party. <laughs> it's taken an awful long time to get there. I was, you know, we only we a limited. Well, time let's here. talk about something else. What have you been doing? I've been uh, keeping busy. I'm I'm not so active in wrestling anymore. Does it, does that bother you? I mean, I'm I'm more of just kind of. What are you chicken shit? No, I'm I'm looking to make as much money not not falling around. Now, you got to respect that because I mean a guy like you doesn't like to leave his feet. Let I me ask you a question. What in the fuck else do you know how to do other than fall on your back, okay? Because if somebody would have fucking told me that 20 years ago, I could be fucking Obama right now, but I ain't, mm -hmm. okay? I'm sex fucking Ferguson. That's why you're paying me to be here and not this motherfucker. Me, not him. We're paying him, too. How much are you getting? <laughs> you a little. Well, you got to talk. Me and you... Without the red light on, okay? You got uh, that tan or you got that Michael Jackson disease? You don't worry about what's in my blood. <laughs> that ain't part of the fucking deal. I don't care how much shaking you plan on doing. Well, yeah, there, there's, a, there's an issue here, because when we were initially bringing you in, your name really isn't Sex Ferguson. It can't, your name can't be, nobody names their kids Sex. <laughs> you know what I mean? You didn't know my mama. <laughs> I didn't know your mama, no. Yeah. Some people named Sex. She sucked off George Hackenschmidt. <laughs> What's that say about me? Pedigree, that's what, motherfucker. Pedigree. I thought we was friends, and you want to talk about my mama being fat and shit for Wilbur Snyder? Well, no, there, 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 from what I was told, this goes back to some research that we, we, we did for uh, the show. Uh, I just bought you a beer. The staff here. Uh-huh. Uh, they say your name's actually Johnny Paradise. Now, can you confirm or deny this? Oh, man, shit. Breaking kayfabe again. Johnny Paradise was my work name when I went to Memphis. As a baby face tag team with Wayne Ferris the first time. Okay, so Johnny Paradise does exist. Hey, right fucking here, if you want to take a fucking Polaroid, give me an Abe, cowboy. <laughs> Ten bucks for a picture? An Abe is a five! I was giving you the brother price! <laughs> so you and Wayne Ferris, now people who don't know who that is, that is the Honky Tonk Man, correct? Honky Tonk Wayne. <laughs> Honky Tonk Wayne. Yeah. Now, uh, a lot of your friends... You wrestled with. Now, <laughs> oh, sorry. There's one guy in particular I want to bring up because you've talked a lot of, not shit, but you know, you feel like he might have owed you a run. And you said you worked with him a lot in AWA for Vern, and he went on to become, oh. he went on to become probably one of the biggest stars of all time in wrestling. That's Hulk Hogan. You, you worked with Hulk. Oh, yeah. yeah. Back in the AWA, is that true? A ton. All right. And how did, oh, we ran the roads, man, and we. Pumping iron and pumping bitches and pounding bears. And we were having a time of our lives. And then they wanted me to come up to New York at first. Really? They, yeah, I pulled a hammy one night outside of St. Paul. And next thing you know, there he goes. I get sent to fucking Nigeria. <laughs> Wait a second. You were supposed to... Vern booked my ass to Nigeria to punish me for pulling my hammy. That's how it worked back then. You got punished if you didn't work every fucking night. You don't understand me. Okay. So you're telling me you were supposed to be Hulk Hogan, but you got you pulled a hammy and got sent to Nigeria. And then Terry, as you usually call him, no? Yes. So you're supposed to be Hulk Hogan. Well, I mean, I don't know. They might have called me something else. <laughs> but the push was for you. Yeah! So that was your spot. Yeah! And they gave it a Hulk. Yeah! And are you and Hulk still friends? I ain't bitter about it. I didn't say yeah. you were bitter. You still talk to the Hulkster? Yeah, I go down there beach pup, beach hanging, hanging out on the beach sometimes. Oh, and, really? Well, cook, cook us up a couple of shrimps and kill a couple of Coronas. <laughs> talk about the old days, brother. <laughs> the fuck is he laughing at? <laughs> what are you laughing at back there? Laughing at him. You're funny, right? Laughing at You watch Sam. your ass, son, or I'm going to put you to tag team with a one-man fucking gang, and you're doing the jobs. 
<laughs> Go away. <laughs> he cracking me up and laughing at him. Hey, that's freight train. He deserves a little more respect than this pink Trump dipshit you brought out here. Yeah, and, fucking and trying man, to teach him how to give me a goddamn game tackle game when he blew both my knees out. Me. Oh, man. The one man game don't got nothing on the freight train. <laughs> you, know oh, what? you hear that? That's what I like to hear. He's got balls on him. We'll make the gang do the, the job. The one man game hunt down like this because yep. he hurt his back over the year yep. at the World Class Championship Raffin Sportatorium days. He hurt yep. his back. Yep. Mess with the binary. You can't fuck with the Von Erics in Texas, right? Right, you can't. The Did, Texas boys. Did you ever work for Fritz? Oh Texas yeah, boy, I went why down they there have on the cowboy hat like this? Call it Texas boys. <laughs> oh, that represent Texas. Good. You got a black cowboy right here. A make cowboy a toy. But cowboy, it, yeah. it's black people in Texas. Yeah, everything's big in Texas, right? Yeah. That's so a good look for them you. Texas boys. <laughs> Put that up there on your head. It, it looks, looks good. good. Yeah. Thanks. So you worked for Fritz, yeah? That, you know, what? It's a Q&A here. You worked for Fritz. Yeah, I did. Uh, what did fucking tell you? <laughs> just, you know, the, the audience here likes to, to hear, you know, the, some of the wrestlers past. Uh, yeah. So what was it like working for old Fritz? I heard he was a real pain in the ass. I heard it he depends on who you were. I was in with Gino and... Gino. Michael Hayes took a quick liking to me because of my gift of gab, so... <laughs> It was pretty much smooth fucking sailing for me. If you're in with the top baby and the top fucking heel in the territory, you pretty much can do what the fuck you want. That means ride around in a white Corvette and do so much fucking blow that you have a constant nosebleed and drink enough booze to kill an elephant on a daily basis. Fuck. Yeah. You did all that for the Von Erics? Yeah. And wrestled? World class, we had a fucking, we had a saying. What it was, was called this. Each day, you have to cover the three ifs. Okay. <laughs> what were the three ifs? Buck, buck, buck. All day. <laughs> Gino told me that. When did you wrestle if you were fucking all day? Well, you got to do something in between to keep people fucking you. <laughs> it's this fucking system. That's what's wrong with these territories today. When I was coming up, we had the baby faces out in the bars, bucking the rats, putting over the girls, Taking care of business, that way, we always had a box office. We always had a fucking gate. Same thing with the heels. We send them out to the baddest motherfucking biker bar on the county line, and they just whip ass, just wipe the floor with motherfuckers, stretching them, poking their motherfucking eyeballs out, so the heels. eating them in front of their wives, and then jacking off on a bar. That's what they did, and that's why people believed in us. And that's why you dipshits are having so much trouble drawing a house. In a second. Hmm? So you're telling me they would send the heels to biker bars and yeah. kick the shit out of the bikers? The living shit. So the heels were really tough, bad guys. You ever seen one? I've seen a bunch in my yeah, time. Yeah, you want Bearcat Wright to put his thumb in your eye to his knuckle? <laughs> Hell no, you don't. That sounds like a shitty day. So if I'm living in Lebanon, Tennessee, and just worked 40 hours, and I'm in the bar having a cold, refreshing beer, and in walks the Mongolian stomper and kicks the ever-loving fuck out of me, I'm unhappy, right? Yeah. Well, then when I see him on TV Friday, I go, that motherfucker's real. Uh, Believability! I understand that. I understand that. So let's let's segue out of Texas for a second, all right? Because uh, there, there's there's a, there's an old, you know, there's a lot of rumors in wrestling. There was, there was a rumor that you and uh, Crusher Jerry Blackwell had serious heat because you kicked out on him, and he felt he weighs too much for you to kick out, and you should have put your foot on the rope. I heard there's... Like 20 year heat. I know he's no oh, longer he's with us. Oh, he's got heat with me? Well, he's no longer with us, but I heard back in the oh, day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you can thank him for costing me 11000 fucking dollars that night, too. <laughs> what? Yeah. <clears throat> 11 grand he cost Yeah, he tried to shoot on my ass in the ring. Of course, I'm going to kick out of that bullshit. Then Vern don't want to pay. They got people knocking on the apartment in the trailer house door. Who's knocking on your door? Oh, All Greg? kinds of people. Greg Ganya? No, fuck him. You didn't like Greg, did you? No, nah, Greg and I got along fine, you know. <laughs> he owes me money for a bag of dirt weed that we picked up on the Mexican border <laughs> once, but that's a, that's a long time ago in a land far away. <laughs> Wait a second. You and Greg Ganya scored weed in Mexico? Well, no, I wanted Greg to... We were... It's a long story, okay? Well, give us the We were cliff working notes. on the West Coast, and I said, hey, we got an off day. Instead of laying up at the beach like a bunch of fucking marks and going to the gym... <laughs> Let's run down to Tijuana, catch us a donkey show, grab us a bag of dirt weed. Greg says, okay, right? Yeah. Next thing I know, we pull up at the border on the way out of this motherfucker. Now, we're drunk as a skunk. Of course. He's shaking like a leaf on a tree. I said, Greg, <laughs> hold it together. 
Next thing I know, we're face down with boot heels on the back of our heads. Fucked. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> This is a great story. Well, you what? You want to make light of it? Well, no, but that's it, what's wrong with you, you kids can't, today. You, you, can't. you learn more in the bars and the cars and hanging out, screwing off with the boys, and you're ever going to learn in the ring. Obviously, you ought to take that kid you had in here earlier out and no, take I, him I, to a bar I don't, or something. I don't, I'm not responsible for fuckboy, but I, the audience, yeah, you gotta understand, there's, there's millions of people watching right now. Uh, I mean, this is a, a, a huge audience. That I know that. So they're gonna want to know a little more details. Now, now you're saying you were oh, face God. down, boots up. Does this mean that the police were involved? I didn't say boots up. The worst place a man can be is with the tip of his cowboy boot in the dirt. As you can see, that's happened to me a couple of times. It's never my fault. Okay. And I didn't say our boots were in the air. I said we had heels to heads. Oh, okay. That means we were biting gravel, cowboy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was me and Roy Shire. <laughs> oh, good old Roy. Yeah, Roy Shire was there. I haven't seen Roy in years. And Toot Smont's oldest boy was with us for some reason. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about something else if you don't want to listen to the goddamn story. <laughs> anyway, long story short, what happens to you and Greg after this? What, what, I mean... Greg who? Ganya, you and him were busted with the dope. The no, week, that the wasn't Greg Ganya. Was it? No, that was the equalizer. Yeah, Dave and Evad Sullivan and I. <laughs> What the hell story are you making up? <laughs> You're making shit up. <laughs> Let me see here. Bartender, you, you get me one of these bold ones? The GHB, Plenty can you? of them. Plenty of them? Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Freight Train. Thank you. All right. Let's, uh, right, train, I'm not going to lie. Beer? You're taking us on a wild uh, ride Johnny? here, Sex. Or do you prefer Johnny? Uh. Or John? Don't you ever fucking call me John in public again. All right, sex. I'm uh, I'm getting a workout just talking to you, or I'm doing very little talking. You're doing most of the talking. You get a lot of beaver. <laughs> Listen, what, if we uh, let's just cut to Where's the point. Where's your pussy situation? <laughs> Not bad, actually. Are you like Blassy in '68? <laughs> I was pretty classy. <laughs> well, classy don't do a fucking thing for me when the lights are off, but you know <laughs> I've been around the fucking world. You haven't. You work with Fred Blassy? <sighs> Once. Once. Yeah, Ria Goku, Japan, 1974. You just said it was huge. before Anoki and Baba broke off. It was still the Japan Wrestling Federation. <laughs> Motherfucker filed his teeth, bit my head, and they cried. I mean, they cried and they fucking died. Heart attacks, the whole deal. They tell you that shit in the books, but it fucking happened. I was looking. I was on the ring selling my ass off like a dude. I look out, I see a lady in the second row, and this motherfucker had a stroke so hard her fingers gnarled before she fell. I knew right there she bought the fucking farm. <laughs> Felt bad about it, too, but we gotta draw a house. You're you know, you gotta keep working. You're a hell of a showman, sex, you know that? A hell of a fucking showman. Oh, you're goddamn right, I am. Now, what was your question? The question is a, a huge part of the pro wrestler is the look. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The physique. Yeah. From head to toe, it's a whole fucking ordeal. Yeah. I mean, you're out there in front of millions of people, thousands in the arenas, millions on TV. You got to look the fucking part. And I, uh, <laughs> exactly. I think a big issue today is a lot of these guys, these kids, these kids in the ring, as you say. Yeah, sex, kids. Fucking idiots. They look like they work Rubes, at... Rubes, greenhorns, dipshits, assholes. Whatever. They look like they work at Starbucks, not... not Starbucks? That's being generous. <laughs> look like a bunch of toilet bowl cleaning sons of bitches to me. Right. Like they ought to wipe the gum off my thousand dollar bits. So what we want to do here is we're going to bring our, 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 our rookie, we call him fuckboy around All here. Oh, this... No, mother. <laughs> We're gonna bring him in here, and what I want you to do is I want you to show the hey, audience. Hey, can I bring my squeeze in here too? Listen, I'm... listen. We want we want to we want to show the audience how you're gonna dress up, fuck boy, and, and make him look much more marketable and much more appealing to the masses. Oh, we gotta get fuck him boy. Right. Come here. I mean, he's got yes, trunks sir. and boots. It's a start. Yes, sir. Shut up. Turn around. Open yourself up to the camera. You you're blocking bastard. the host. Turn to get. What? Other side, jackass. That ought to be a t-shirt. Oh, it was. Stand there. All right, now here. Hey, I need some ass on my lap. Come here, baby. Jesus Christ. Oh, fucking A right, you see that. Oh, hi, listen, baby. Listen. Oh, baby. Listen to him, Mr. Sex. He's got the tights. He has the boots. Ew. Now, what do you want to do? What are we going to do right. with this here? How can we make this well, a million bucks right here? Stand up for me, darling. 
It might hurt. Move it over. It might hurt in your honey. Move over, pretty girl. All right. Show now, us. Who you been training with? Been training with highspots.com. Is that a rib? Is he ribbing me? No, he's a smart ass, disrespectful little prick. No, no. 2014, that's 2014, a legitimate training. That's a legitimate Can I take a look? You ain't missing much. Back you off. You got a bright future ahead of him. You got a bright future ahead of you, son. Bright future. All right, sex. Now show it. Oh, hold on. What are you going to do with you the bottle? You said you had two with? fucking hours. <laughs> Does he have another beer, baby? Yeah, that's yeah, freight train. Freight train. Not me. Freight train. Hey, can you open My this? Name's Margaret. Can I have a beer? Let me see you squat a little bit. Deeper. Lower. Thank you. Deeper. Lower. Loosen. Open. Receive. Oh. Okay. Now you're <laughs> ready. Sorry, baby. What do we call those? Hindu squats? Yeah. Want some chicken? Well, don't oversell for me now. Let's just get you ready for the matches. Put a little of that on yourself. Ooh, watch the set sets. Yeah, now, now wipe it in. It's all about the baby oil. Oh. Well, let's get some on your clothes. <laughs> there you go. Now, why, why are we putting oil on this man? Uh, why who, not? Who the, what? Oil. Want some chicken, baby? No, no. How long has it been since you worked in a fucking money growing territory, anyhow? Why, explain to the audience why in the world would a man want to cover himself in baby oil? He ain't wearing oil. He's wearing sheen. Sheen. Sheen, sheen. 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 that's his sheen. What the it's fuck? It's his is sheen? physique enhancer. Look at his body. Yeah. Look at the hair on his boobies. Look mm -hmm. at that underarm ooh, that vagina that lives under mm -hmm. his armpit. Look at him now. It accentuates the positives. All right. It accentuates mm -hmm. the flaws a little bit too with this one, but that's okay. Put your hand out here. Now what's this? This now, is this standard is wrist, wrist tape. tape. All wrestlers have to wear it to protect their wrists. <laughs> what? Is there a technique here? Or yeah, you, just... you got to get them ready for the action. And people, they don't know, but it's more about the look wrap than it anything. Tight. This here is you like how wrap the it Hardy Boys put some stuff on there real famous. <laughs> you know, you just got to wrap second. it around yourself wrap there. Wrap it tight. Wrap it tight. Get some of this here on you. There you go. Yeah. Now, is there a technique? The getting in the eyes. Shut up. Is there a technique here, or is this just... No, see, he's got something trademarked over his arm here. We just put a little tape <laughs> over there. And what that does is it's a double whammy. It's going to accentuate the bicep. Mm-hmm. Now, see, this kid, he didn't have a lot of money to buy himself a gimmick, and I feel bad for him. I'm a man who believes in having so... a gimmick. So what we got to do, you know, like Hawkster and Billy Graham, got to get you a little... <laughs> You're really little... going crazy with the tape here. Hand on him. <laughs> He's hooking you throat. up, buddy. He's hooking you up. He's maybe turning you, make you him, into a star. Maybe you make him a hooded wrestler. Like, <laughs> Wait a second, like Sex. Like Vader, the Mastodon. Sex. He's, no, he's still, like, he, sex. He, he, like the Yeti in the Dungeon of Doom. He's doing his makeover. For Christ. Okay. So anyway, back to the story. The studio audience. Summer of 68. <laughs> Long Branch, Illinois. Oh, yeah, yeah, Long Branch. Yeah. I walked into the Thirsty Pelican. <laughs> I've been there. I was wearing Daisy Duke shorts, a red tank top, Ooh. and black cowboy boots. Sounds hot. I don't think I should tell this story. What, what other questions do you have? Well, actually, a couple of people have tweeted. Well, uh, let's hear what they have to say. They've tweeted some questions that they, you know, they're not really questions. They're more like seems to me people that you've known from your past, actually, because oh, apparently you don't... God <laughs> damn it, anyway. Apparently you don't keep in touch with uh, people from, I guess, yesteryear, you could say. So, uh, do you want, you want, I'll throw one at you. I mean, if not, it's fine. I don't want the people here Is it one it. of my kids that lives stateside? <laughs> because I if just, so, we can't record this. I just know it's off the, it, it, the name of their Twitter handle, if that helps. Tell me more about Twitter. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick. This is off Twitter. We'll, we'll give you a we'll give you the rundown on Twitter later. But this this girl's name is at Wendy forty two forty two. All right, that's that's what she goes by on Twitter. Wendy, yeah. I mean, I've known a lot of Wendy's. It could be anyone. Well, she says, and I quote via direct message. Uh, Please ask Mr. Ferguson, nineteen eighty eight, Boston Gardens, Boston, Massachusetts. He had sex with me in the Waffle House parking lot, which is strange because I don't think they have Waffle Houses in Boston. But anyway, you promised her and her son two comp tickets at Will Call. 
She shows up to Will Call, and all she gets is a faded autographed Sex Ferguson 8x10. No tickets. Please explain. All she got. All she got? All she got was a faded 8x10 with your signature on it. She got a son named Terry Jean who looks just like me in the fucking clap. Don't tell me all she got. I'd say she got more than that. She got the gift that keeps on giving, brother. I can't give until it hurts. Money don't grow on trees, okay? I was working on top then. I had to keep shit under wraps. That's what you kids don't get today. Um, <laughs> she didn't mention anything about, what was his name, Terry Jean? She just wanted to know what... Oh, it, maybe that's a different Wendy. It's just 88 Boston Gardens. It no longer exists, but does this... Could be anybody. Them? Could be anybody. Could be. All right. You want to take another one? I mean, this this one's. I a don't little... know. This seems high risk. What do you think? I mean, these are what's coming in. You know. Oh fuck me, right? Well, this this one's pretty generic. It says, uh, "Sex. What, what what do you recommend for an up and coming professional wrestler today? His dream is to be a pro wrestler." Not what I recommend. What I know. Squats, 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 squats. Oh. And more squats. Tell him to start squatting. Squats. <laughs> like what? Squat. Like I did when I worked for Watts. What? Cowboy Bill Watts? Drink a lot of beer and grow a beard so you can tell you're a man. Because sometimes them shaved bodies and all that long hair and that smell good on them, they don't know if it's a boy or not. Grow you out a beard. You don't want people trying to fondle you. Right. If they're men. <laughs> and you don't like that. No, you Whatever. Got... You bring up an interesting point. You've been uh, you've been around for a while. Oh yeah. Seventies, eighties. I mean, everyone knows that some shady shit went on in the eighties and the nineties. I mean, have you ever heard the expression? Is that a dog crying? <laughs> I'm allergic to fleas, dogs. Are you dodging the question? And here? what? I mean, it's it's you know in 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 that era there was something known as what they would call it brother sex. Do you know anything about that? Is that is that legit or is that just like uh, you know? Some wild, imagined bullshit someone came up with. Brother sex. Who the fuck told you about brother sex, anyway? <laughs> no one really told me you about it. You arrogant little prick. You underpay me to come here and talk to you. And what is this, 20 fucking 20? Maybe. Turn that shit off. We need to talk about this. Because you know what? I don't think you're innocent either. Fucking wax on, wax off, pal. There's a difference in queering off and getting your needs met on the road. Oh, Jesus. And you need to fucking understand that. You understand me? I understand, yeah. When that red light comes back on, I don't want to hear nothing about no brother sex. Okay, we'll skip, we'll skip the brother sex. Um, all right, next question. All right, uh, Freight Train, how you doing back there? I'm doing good. Are you having fun? You look good. Fun listening, y'all. What are you wearing there? I'm wearing this with Luke Gallows gave me. Luke Gallows? Who the hell is Luke Gallows? Nobody hillbilly sounds like to me. You know who he is? He used to be fastest than WWE. He's what a dipshit. He used to stick his time out like this. That sounds like a hell of a gimmick. Did he get to put it on anybody or just chew on the damn thing? He put it on somebody, but when he wrestled... Well, how was it? He always came out with Jassy Slam Master J and had his tongue sticking out like this. Oh, That's Terry God. Gordy's boy. I remember him. Oh, Bam Bam. Yeah, put a rapper gimmick on him. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, rapping white kid. What's your take on that? Well, I mean, it almost worked for Outback Jack. <laughs> Wait a second. Huh? Outback Jack was an Australian, uh, you know, like a Paul Hogan crocodile Dundee. That's character. what I'm saying. <laughs> so, how do you compare Slam Master J. Ray Gordy to? Outback Jack. Well, it's the same thing. It's appeasing to the people. It's soothing to the eyes. It's loving to the ears. That's how you make a baby face. They gotta be endearing. <laughs> they gotta be able to relate to these characters, right? Yeah, you wanna look at this son bitch and go, I wanna be him or I wanna be with him. Yeah. How do you think I've been over for 40 damn years? <laughs> 40 years, huh? Yeah, that's damn right. Let's talk about this comeback to, uh, you say New York, but to everyone else, that means uh, the WWE, the the biggest wrestling. WWE whatever. is that in Puerto Rico? <laughs> no, that's oh, uh, WWF. WWF, yes. Yeah. That's where you're going. Yeah, they're gonna make me a Hasbro. They're saying <laughs> whatever the fuck that means. A Hasbro. Yeah. So you're gonna go back to the WWF? 
I mean, I mean, if the paper's right, <laughs> then the paper trail's kilt. <laughs> you know. Now what is it? I never miss a town or a payday, no matter what. That's one thing you'll get to know about me as we travel together in the upcoming months, and you let me move into your trailer house, and I'll I'll teach you about psychology. We don't need to get in the ring for the first six to eight months. I'm just going to be talking to you about psychology, and we're going to get to know each other on a personal level. So I need you to have a lot of things around for us to enjoy recreationally, you know, <laughs> women, drugs, booze, things of that nature. And uh, I'm going to teach you the business for $5,000. But what I'm going to do <laughs> for you, friend. you give me 2500 up front, then you give me 500 a month until I find my own place, get on my feet a little bit. Sound good? Five All right. Five grand? Yeah. You're, I already know how to wrestle, I think. I'm going to polish you up. <laughs> this is the... Like the season. This is finishing school. Finishing school, five thousand yeah. dollars. Call me Professor Ferguson. <laughs> what about freight train? Are you cut him a break or what? I get both of y'all. Yeah, two of us. Forty-five hundred a piece cash. Oh, what a deal! Oh, that's a deal. That's a deal. A man knows a deal when he sees one. Man, no PayPal. Get though, your right? money together. We'll talk dollars. after the interview. No PayPal. How much you need? I say you can use that forty-five hundred dollars. Yeah, that's that's damn money. right. It's good money. I am going to use it. I'm going to put it right in my nose. <laughs> no, you shouldn't do that. Well, I mean, God damn, son, this is a dare program we're running here. <laughs> in my day, you know, we ran on lewds, booze, and a little wake-me-up. You know what wake-me-up is? Yeah, don't, don't, <laughs> Get me going. Don't no. Kick it in gear. Let's downshift. No, let's not downshift. Let's go up. I know, but you, gotta, you have to understand that there's a, a very serious, uh, they call it a wellness policy. It's a, it's a very serious drug testing policy they have. Uh -huh. Wellness? Do I not look well to you? <laughs> yeah, but that stuff can wear you down. That drugs can wear you down. Yeah, now, he, now, now, he brings up a good point. He's talking about, I, I would imagine, you're It'll talking about... The inside your liver. Performance-enhancing drugs, steroids. Uh. Yeah. Now, you, you, know, you can't be using any of that type of shit. You know that, right? No, you can't. You no, get no, caught no. doing that. Yeah, That's you get, your job. You get caught yeah, What do you mean? House. You can't pop a little gas in your ass? <laughs> no, 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 no. How the hell are you going to make it in New York? It's a big man's territory. <laughs> no, no, because Vince McMahon catch you doing that. That's your job. That's your job, buddy. No steroids. Well, Vince, well, god damn it. Maybe I'll call Ted Turner. <laughs> if he catch you doing that, be your job. <laughs> nice catch. Uh, well, well, how are they going to find out about it? Are they going to be in the rental car with me? I don't uh, think so. I'll well, get yeah, shaky they, to drive. They might have somebody watching you. <laughs> yeah, take you, a... You know, rich people like that, they know how to have somebody I got rats you. in every city in the Northeast. I ain't got to worry about no one watching my ass. <laughs> I'm going to be getting my own peanut butter and banana sandwiches for breakfast every morning. Somebody might tell. I'm going to be using my fanny pack to transport my recreational goods. I'm going to be doing it like I was in 80 fucking 7, pal. And if yeah. you listen up and give me that five grand, you might get to come along. But until you smart up, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, All right. I, I said, uh, I don't mean to cut you off, but uh, Kamala said. Kamala? If, Kamala said if you're on drugs in WWE, he said if Vince McMahon didn't like you, they'll protect you. They'll cover your ass up. Are well, you damn sure like he's going to like me? <laughs> All right. All right. Hey. Look at his face. Yeah, man. That's your money maker. <laughs> Sex, I don't know what to say. I'm a little blown away here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you promised us a show, and I, I definitely think you're giving us a show, but uh, <laughs> is there anything you'd like to talk about? You eyeballing me? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no, no. There's a lot yeah, of things man. I am, but that's not one of them. Hey, Pat Baby's here! Yeah! They're all yeah! He's on my favorite show, my big fat gypsy wedding. Oh my God! How you doing, brother? Holy shit! See great. that? Hey, He's famous we, too. Hey, Both of us. Welcome and you to the got, show. You, oh, yeah, you're you making me want to slug you. Hand. you got Business two, people shake hands. Yeah. We're fucking family. We hug. Yeah, okay. we're hugs okay. around here. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't recognize well, you. Well, you better recognize. You better recognize. I'm used to seeing you on my, my my TV. I'm not used to seeing you in person. Well, see. Tell tell everyone who you are. I'm Pat Baby. Pat Baby. All day long. Yeah, show him the mustache. That's a good gimmick. See there? That's a good gimmick. I'm incognito. They'll never know it's me. <laughs> They'll never know. I love it. How long have you known Pat Baby here? We're brothers. You're brothers? Yep. You don't yep. look anything alike. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, you say something about our mother or something? <laughs> no, I'm... Back here. <laughs> Over there, Pat. Look, twins. Brothers. Twins. Brothers. From another mother. 
the likeness is uncanny. That's what I'm saying. I see your double fist in here, buddy. What? Well, you know, well, no, I gotta catch well, up. Cheers, brother. Yeah. Let's get you another one, Pat. When it, come, when it comes to, you know... You know, the show started at when six. When I deal with sex here, you know, I can't keep up. So, so you're on this... this... I love sex. <laughs> yeah, he does. We've been buddies forever. <laughs> uh, Pat, are you comfortable standing? Because you only have two chairs here. What? I don't want to say it. I've been relaxing all the way here. Well, tell us about you. I mean, you're on this... I mean, you know... Uh, a huge reality star. I'm a, a A-list celebrity for Christ's celebrity Christ. shit. I, I come here to see the celebrity. Oh, well, of course, That's, but yourself. You know, it don't you, get no better than sex. It doesn't. This is what I'm saying. You put sex in the ring, and you put Pat Baby in his corner. I didn't know he was wrestling. Dollar signs, domino. Pat Baby and sex, that sells. Really? Sex, sex, sex baby, motherfucker. That's our gimmick. <laughs> Sex, I don't want to tell you what I'm taking to New York. Sex, sex, baby. We're taking this to a whole other level. Sex, oh, sex, baby. So you're telling me we're going to see... Sex, sex, baby. Well, let's not give them all of our interests just yet. They yeah. got to pay for that on pay-per-view. Get the man. Give me my, so you're telling give me my me that 17 we could possibly dollar see... Ray-Bans. <laughs> you're telling me... I bought with my last cash draw. You're telling me if we're lucky, we might see the Usos take on sex, sex, The baby? Usos? <laughs> Pussy Usos. No, the Usos. Is that big tag Oh, team? they're, they're Samoan kids. I like them. They can work. Uh, I've seen them on TV at the trailer house. Uh, you're saying we could see you and maybe... I've seen them when I get the antenna to pick the station up, but... We're talking about a program running us heel against Wyndham and Rotundo for the tag straps. Wait a second. That's 20 fucking years ago. They're not still wrestling. They're behind the scenes. They're, They're making a comeback. You don't understand. Do they it. work for New York? Yeah, they work for New York. Okay. <laughs> then it works. Your problem is you're behind the times because you don't have an open imagination. Get with it. Oh, I'm sorry, Pat. I'm not a... Uh... Don't, don't apologize for being an asshole. Hey, you know what? No, I got to say, though, I'm a big fan of your work. I remember <laughs> when I was... Did you hear that? <laughs> I was on the rock for a few years with Carlos, spending some time doing my penance in Puerto Rico, as they call it. And uh, I was watching your ass on the boob tube all the time. Yeah. Deuce and Ace. Which one were you? Oh, no, no. It was Deuce and Domino. Deuce and Domino. Oh, that's why they... Close enough. I got it. Deuce, Domino. That What's the difference? Deuce, yeah, yeah, well... You guys are the tag team champions of the world. Yeah, we had the girl on the roller skates, remember? The valet, Cherry. Sex had more girls. No, I don't remember that. Though. Anyway, how much money did you make? Quite, quite a bit. You got a hundo on you? <laughs> <laughs> you a little light? You need, you know. I need Look at these uh, shitty I, ass. I, I run, I run off, I run off cash. Out. I run out of the fucking safe. Do you see the safe? I can't carry it with me. I can't carry it on my back. I've been carrying you for the last two and a half damn hours. How am I going to carry the safe? All I'm asking you for is to float me a little drizzle. If you can't do that, yeah, just, just say so. Pick a check up at dinner life. So, you don't take checks, man. You got you another box of these sons of bitches are growing on me. <laughs> You've been around the world. We've all been around the world. We've wrestled absolutely everywhere and anywhere. Where would you say, like, is your absolute favorite place to wrestle? Sex Ferguson, anywhere in the world, what was your favorite place? Well, you know, that gives me a lot of shit to narrow down, you know? I wrestled under the stars <laughs> on the garden of the Eiffel Tower under a French sky against Andre the Giant one night. You worked with Andre? Many times. Andre the Giant, you worked with But him. what holds a special place in my heart was me and Moondog Spot on a house show in Texarkana one night. And I was so fucking drunk, I couldn't find my ass with both hands, right? So I was hiding outside in the station wagon for about four hours, right? But I had the window down, and I was laid back in the seat, wait, catching wait, 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 wait. I... I... I hate to cut you off, buddy, but the question is your favorite place to wrestle. Texarkana, Arkansas. Now, we're in a station wagon. Yeah, it was uh it's an out, it's a rodeo barn. A rodeo barn. Yeah. A dirt floors. Um you know, just the way it was meant to be. Just guys out there going after it. And I'll tell you something else. Wait, so it was meant to be in a barn? I got a reverse blumpkin after the show, the first time I ever worked there in eighty six. <laughs> So you're, you, this is your favorite place? I was standing up and she was taking a shit. 
You gotta be fucking kidding me. Where do you think you're gonna find something like that other than Texarkana? Those girls are giving, they're willing, and they love the boys. If I could set up shop somewhere and open my own office, which eventually we're gonna get to that after my next run, I wanna put a little money back, it's gonna be right out of Texarkana. I got contacts down there, I got people in good places. I know a guy at the car wash, his daughter was a hell of a redheaded lady. <laughs> so, your favorite place to wrestle is a rodeo with dirt on the floor. Strictly because of the Blumpkin or because you like the town, the payoffs? Or well, I mean, Blumpkin? you gotta, you gotta understand when we're making these towns, it's about atmosphere. You know, some guys are about the glitz and the glamour. I have all that. I've had it for years. I got a kid who drives me around. Other things, okay? So, you know, I like the whole experience. I like to come into town with a mild buzz. I like to crank that motherfucker up for six, seven hours. About 8 a.m., I like to sleep it off till about 11. I like to get up. I like to get the bands out. I like to stretch a little bit, get myself a fucking sweat. Then I go down to the building. Motherfucker, it's on from the time I pull up. All right. Well, I don't just look like this in real life. Uh, that's kind of kind of segues into my next question. I mean, you, you're a good-looking man, obviously, and pro wrestlers tend to do Thank other Thank God, it's made me a hell of a lot of money, ain't it? <laughs> Pro wrestlers tend uh, to do shit outside of wrestling. Have you ever, ever done any other endeavors outside yeah, of wrestling? Yeah, I had a drywall business, and we did a little home and gardening on the side. Uh, that was in 90, the first quarter of 90 we were doing that. The first uh, quarter? Yeah. Like four months? Well, yes. What about movies? Any, any? I mean, legitimate movies, none of the, you know... Movies, commercials, radio, anything like that? Is it all pro I wrestling? I make towns for, for a living. Okay, I'm not like the rest of these phony motherfuckers out here trying to bark up somebody else's tree. People know what they get when they pay to see... S well, I want to be politically correct now because I'm making a I got back. <laughs> when they pay to see Johnny Paradise oh. wiggle his ass <laughs> and wind up his fucking punches, there is nobody in the world who can showboat like the P-Man. I, I don't disagree. Now, let's get... Let well, I, I fucking hope you don't. I wouldn't be here let's, otherwise. Let's talk about this big comeback. Fucking now, You were on a waiting list to get me. Uh, My agent the, called me and said, they want you all hearing this to do this deal. And I said, first I said, what's the payday? Of course. When? And I said, I can't do that till December. But you pulled some strings. Now, now the comeback. That's that's obviously all you keep talking about. What, what, when, where, and why? Or is this just some, or some more bullshit like you've been bullshitting for the last hour and a half pretty much tell us about this big comeback i mean is this real are we gonna see you on the 999 network i mean come on are you trying to make me piss up my own rope or is this yours motherfucker <laughs> okay you want to insult me and talk about 999 only thing i know about 999 is 1900 909 9900 to see what the fuck i was doing when i was washing my dick because you called mean gene for 399 a minute <laughs> you fucking mark that's the fucking deal here january 2016 new york here i come i'm gonna sex it up i got pat baby coming with me you're even gonna see paradise and brother we're gonna motherfucking roll. so it's, it's 2016 january <laughs> that's that's the plan. i mean do, do i stutter when i make my vignettes so we're, this is this is we're in october of 2014 we're, you're saying in about a year we're gonna see sex ferguson no man like 15 months yeah give or take yeah. so it's gonna take you a year <laughs> to prepare to come back to the world of wrestling. Yeah, it's enough time to kick out all the trimesters I'm fucking dealing with, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so I figure get a little gas in my ass, smoke a little reefer, calm me down, I'll be ready for the road. <laughs> all right, now let's fast forward here. 2016 January, yeah. Yeah. we're live yeah. around the world. On, yeah. is, it, is it Raw you said you're going to be on? Monday Night Raw, is that what you said? Primetime Wrestling. Primetime Wrestling, okay. Yeah. So you show up, what happens? Give us, give, give, give everybody a little sneak peek. Well, I don't want, I, I mean, can you kayfabe this? Yeah, well, we'll, we won't show this to the crowd here. All right, we got a deal set up right now where I got a guy who for $400 has agreed to spray paint straps on 60 white donkeys. Right? We're going to walk these motherfuckers out to the ring like zebras, okay? <laughs> Then we're going to have four men in loincloths, barefooted, and I want them jacked. I want them gassed to the fucking gills like something out of M&F, muscle and fitness fucking cover boys, right? 
they're carrying a fucking wheelless chariot over their heads and it's on what fire. And guess who's fucking standing on the seat dancing his motherfucking ass off? Me. That's who. <laughs> that's that's it. That's the. That's the call. goddamn entrance. You want me to fucking book the angle on your show so that people won't pay to fucking see it? Are you trying to take money out of my pockets? How Are much? you trying to take? Food off all my kids around the world's tables. Wait, wait, how many horses are leading you to the ring? 30? 60. 60 horses? They're zebras. They're zebras. They're, they're, they're donkeys with stripes with case way back. It's 400 bucks. 400 bucks for 60 donkeys? Freight train, you, can you ever do it, a donkey? You can do it yeah. in a day and a half. Freight train's got a donkey. Two days if you're drunk. Well, he's got a donkey on him. I saw that motherfucker swaying when I came over here to sit down. It's between his legs. Yeah, you know what, son? Let me ride that donkey, donkey. Let me ride that donkey. He's scaring donkey. the shit out of me right now. <laughs> please. Hey, he's kind of hey, like our security. Please. Hey, hey. That's how his song used to Jesus back jumped up Christ. You got a warrant on him? You got a license for that thing? <laughs> I got shit on him. Don't worry. He's legit. <laughs> he got papers? He's legit. He's a good guy. Don't worry about Brady. He's friend. scary as fuck. I'm not scary. Speak for your motherfucking self. I might be a monster, but I ain't scary. Tell you what, that I watched Monsters Inside Me at the trailer house on the A&E Network. That motherfucker's living in me. I'm scared. You don't got no business. Like, obviously, a guy like you's got to have a few enemies. You got to have. I mean, not every. There's got to be guys jealous of you, your fame. Well, your success, I mean, that, that runs money. through this business as you move along through it. If you get as successful as I am and have been for a number of years now, you're going to run into some people that are not going to have positive things to say about you, the choices you made in your life, the way you do your dealings, the way you handle your business, and the way the way that you spend the time spent during your recreational motherfucking activities. But what I want to tell you, that's another thing wrong with this business today, these motherfuckers don't understand, you got to blow off some steam. So if blowing off some steam for you is plugging in your Nintendo and shooting ducks. Duck hunt? Yeah. If that's what you fucking like to do, do it. You know what I like to do? I like to pop gas station dick pills, drink four loco, and fuck strippers. That's you're, what I do. Your decades are so off. You go from Nintendo and Duck Hunt to shit we got in the gas stations today. I don't know what the fuck you play with on your TV. I, I play with my dick if I'm bored. All right. Okay. All right. Is there anything? Is there anything you want to get out there that people might not know about Sex Ferguson? Yeah, Pornhub.com. You can see all my new shit. Log on. <laughs> Pornhub.com. Anything else? Are you lost for words? No, I, I mean, I, I came here for you, and I wanted to do something for you, and I see that to you, you're not respecting the lessons I've been trying to teach you, and I'm just wanting to know if there's, at some point, are we going to talk off camera about you uh, handling that financial situation that we're trying to deal with together as a team because you know we're the boys i'm one of the boys you're one of the boys and it, it, it is your job and it is vested inside of you when you broke into this business all those years ago with ronnie garvin for you to help me out i don't know what you're talking about i got a lot of unpaid fucking bills <laughs> so what do you want me to do about it i can't flush my toilet <laughs> I can't turn on the bedroom light. <laughs> I'm freight train. This guy can't flush a toilet. What's your take on that? That's terrible. He can't flush a toilet. Anybody hey, flush a toilet. Do you got a key that has a bump on the end of it? Because if not, don't look at him. Look at fucking me. Are we going to party tonight? Yeah, we're going to party tonight. You better turn this motherfucker up. Listen, listen. Because when I get back to New York, if you want me to put a word in for you like I did for fucking Scott Levy. <laughs> Scotty the body. No, motherfucker, Johnny Polo. You got Johnny Polo's job. Who do you think wrote this shit? <laughs> you wrote Johnny Polo into the WWE. I was going to have you ride the lead donkey, but now you're getting all, <laughs> you know, up in my <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wait a second. Let's, let's rewind here. Scott Levy, Johnny Polo, Raven, you're responsible for. He's my first fucking cousin. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? I don't know. You ever hear of a little family called the Armstrongs or the Bon Ericks or the goddamn Rhodes Boys or the Rhodes Boys. fucking Blanchards, Joe, Tully, and Tessa or fucking, uh, I don't even, let me think about more of them. I mean, there were Koloffs, there's Bushwhackers, they're all legitimate families, the Beverly fucking brothers. 
right. the Highwaymen, the Straight Edge Society, Deuce and Ace. <laughs> There's a ton of brotherly factions in pro wrestling. Well, the four horsemen were all brothers. All ha came from the same daddy. Now, how, what do you think about that, though? I mean, what's your take? I mean, sec what's your take on a second generation wrestler? Do you feel that this guy's just he's just there because? His dad was a wrestler. I mean, your dad wasn't a wrestler. What was your, you don't even know who your dad is, probably. I do know who my dad is, Domino, and you're barking up the wrong tree because my daddy was Nick fucking Goulas. Jeez. You ever hear of a little territory called Memphis? Yes, I have. Yeah, maybe my brother George was a dipshit, but that didn't make me one, and that's why I've survived in this business as long as I have. People like me papering towns, making them, main eventing, putting asses every 18 motherfucking inches bucking the rats, drinking the booze, doing the drugs, and training like it was the last day that I was going to have my heart pump on this fucking earth, Wait. or why there is a business for you to even fucking participate in. And the fact that you want to look at me and question that, oh, it makes my blood boil. If I wasn't so somewhat upright now that I could shit my fucking pants, I would come over this stool after you. What do you want me to say to that? <laughs> I'm just talking. I mean, you can't say that kind of stuff. People are going to really think, you know, I mean, are you serious? Serious about what? <laughs> I'm sorry, Sex. You're, you're, you're the first guest, and you're the most entertaining by far. <laughs> How many beers do you think you've had? 60, like the donkeys? How many fucking Georges are you going to add to my envelope? <laughs> Motherfucker. Back, always back to the money. I don't mean to always money. insult you, but I need you to pay me. Always back to the money. All yeah. right. Now, wrestlers today. If I were to book you on a show, how much would you sell your 8 by 10s for if you were seated next to me, more or less? I want to see how highly you think of yourself. I would sell them for less. Right that's, answer. That's a good answer there, kid. Hey! hey! You got some you got baby oil on your hands. Are you stiff? <laughs> Fuck boy. Are you stiff? Ow! <laughs> hey, baby, it's fucking... Now, you realize today these, these guys... Now, you're now, when you say you're going back to New York, honestly... <laughs> Let me tell you what I used to do. Here's a great way to get over on a fucking room. One of these new kids. If I had that motherfucker in the car who was squatting earlier, here's what I'd do. He'd be like this here. I'd be like, you need to drive. Let's get your mama's car. It's probably big. Probably a gas hog, but a lot of leg room for old sex. We pull up to the fucking toll. I fucking kayfabe a little bit. Look around for my wallet. I'm not really looking. We pull up to the gas station. He gets out. Hey, man, you going to throw something in? Of course I'm going to throw something in. Here's what he didn't know. When he was at the toll, I see this motherfucker open the center console. What's he do? He dips his hand into what looks to me like an unlimited supply of quarter dollars. Okay? He gets out. He runs a car, does whatever he's doing, gets himself a sloppy joe. He pumps the gas. I dip my motherfucking hand in them quarters, right? I got it right here. He gets back in the car. He starts it up. I tell these little dipshits in the back, shut the fuck up. I go, hey, man, is, is change okay for gas money? He goes, yeah. I go, no motherfucking problem. I open that shit up. Diz up. That's how you make it on the road. <laughs> okay, thanks for that segue. But anyway, I was going to say, <laughs> the kids today are a lot different than what you're used to, I'd imagine. You're coming with, just come back. <laughs> I got to drip like a motherfucker. <laughs> so I don't think, a lot of the kids today don't even know what that means. That's because all the duck hunting. <laughs> Jesus. Frogger. Mario Brothers. <laughs> Shit. Train. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Does any of this make sense to you? Yeah. All of it. <laughs> no, all of it. Some of it. Hey, man, you smell my beer. <laughs> Not cool. You have to pay attention to stuff with people saying. Hey, pal, can you beer me? <laughs> yeah, you. I mean, I'm at, I'm at a loss for words here, sex. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, Let me pour one out for my homies real quick. No, 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 no. no. Oh! Did you put ice cubes in the bucket? <laughs> what are you doing? That would make my dick shrink up like it's about a fucking little yard mushroom after the grass got cut in the springtime. Uh, let's cut to the chase. Why are you so fucked up? What is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You got all that black shit on like you're going to a funeral and your hat says something about New York. And... Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, it does, Compton. <laughs> got you a hoodie on. It's hot out. Got a jacket on. Tell us that's, about this jacket. Uh, that's because I work ten in Japan, motherfucker. Now how do you get one of these jackets? Stretch people. people! 
no, honestly, a lot of people see these fucking jackets on, on guys like you, and they want to know what the guys hell. Guys like me? <laughs> yeah, guys like you. You who, son of a bitch. Guys like you have been around the world. Yep. And they see this, what is it, Ribera Steakhouse? Yeah. No, why, why? I've never seen a... Here's what it means. No, 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 no. It means no, you no. wrestled in Japan, you took a taxi cab to a restaurant, and paid for a steak, and they gave you a coat so you could take a picture, then tell all the boys in America you were famous when you really aren't. <laughs> never mind. K-Fabe, it means you're fucking famous. All right, because I mean, I, I mean, I've been to Outback, and I don't, I don't walk around with a fucking Outback jacket on. That's because I mean? you're a mark. <laughs> I like to support the steaks I eat. I mean, uh, the steaks that are given to me. So, so you go. And to I'm the... respected. No, no, you go, you go they to the place. They give me steaks and beer and the finest wine from Bordeaux, France, where I was born and reared. So they give you a free jacket. Yep. How's the steak? Amazing. Amazing. I'm bigger than. Bigger than one of his right ass cheeks. He's got two of them. <laughs> oh, man. Juicy. I say smack that motherfucker around a little bit and tell it you're going to do bad things to it later and bring it out here on the plate to me. I want to fight it. <laughs> I think so. Huh? Uh, Wash it down with a couple of gimmicks. A right. quart, quart of beer. You ever hear of a quart of beer? No. That's because you're new school. <laughs> What is your favorite drink of choice, if I if I can ask here? If sex goes into a bar, well, what does he order from the bartender? Come on. A fuzzy navel, two shots of Jack, and no duels in case my wife walks in, and then I ask if I can buy a quarter bag of dirt weed for twenty dollars or less. And why I was gonna go back to the drugs? All right. I ain't talking about we're drugs. Getting I'm talking about what you order in a fucking bar. All right, we're getting somewhere here now. Let's go with something else now. What kind of car does a man like Sex Ferguson drive? I told you I don't do much driving no more. But when I did, I had a canary yellow 1979 Cadillac DeVille. And the, the problem with that was I lost my fucker in a battle roll in the mid-Atlantic. <laughs> Why don't you do much driving anymore? How well, do you get around town? I got a kid who takes care of that for me. You got a driver? Yeah, he's about fifteen. And... No, no, I've seen this. I mean, I mean, you got you've got these little. I guess you want to call them hang on, hanger oners. Is that what they call them? I mean, they look at you like you're fucking god. They 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 drive you around town. They get you beer. They get you dirt weed. Who are these people? Are they just sex Ferguson fanatics or what? The, oh, I'll, I have a name for these people. I call them the sons of the Marlboro Man, because they understand the way of the red pack in the road. <laughs> I don't need you putting things out in the air against them. I don't know what that means. I just said, who are these people? And you come back with sons of the Marlboro man. Why do you ask me questions if you don't want to answer? I'm just saying, when a, a, a guy like What do you, you call a guy who drives you around? <laughs> a chauffeur. A taxi cab driver because you're fucking Mark paying him $20? <laughs> I call you a fucking Mark. I call me a guy who has an assembly of Marlboro men. All right. To take him across nations. To make towns and sell T-shirts, eight by tens, and hopefully those flimsy little wristbands that we get for six cents a piece. <laughs> All right, so you don't drive much, but you do fly. We've talked well, about. Well, I earlier. drive when I'm behind a woman of the right hip. Whip. <laughs> Are you a man of the sky? Yet Slap when you go, a when pair you, of horns on that motherfucker and pretend she's a Viking. You know what I'm saying? You've worked around the world, so you can't drive. Well, that's obvious. You, you can't drive to Japan. No. So you fly, obviously. Yeah, you take a. Uh, a water-bound vessel. <laughs> you, yeah, I took a ferry to Japan once. It took a me 14 ferry. weeks to get there. But I worked for six. I had enough money to get halfway fucking back. They dropped me off in Greenland, and there wasn't a fucking town to make because they canceled all the fucking tent shows. Isn't that a shame? Yeah. Fuck me running, ain't it? <laughs> Sorry. You took a ferry to Japan. Yeah. You really want me to believe that? I mean, who's telling the stories here? Let me ask you, how did you get to Japan when you went? The airplane. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We took an Aren't airplane. Aren't you all high and mighty with your propellers and your fucking... <laughs> <laughs> K-Fabe, come all of a sudden, don't hit me. Jesus Rachel, Christ. you've been on an airplane recently, right? Yeah. Where'd oh. you go? I went to England. Oh. You see Dave Taylor? No. What about Big Daddy? You see Big Daddy over there? No. Nope. Oh, how was it? It was good. <laughs> Stimulating. I Chris Masters it. over over there? His Facebook looks like he's in all kind of wild places. I don't know. <laughs> I know he lives in California. Jesus. 
You went to California? I saw I know Chris Masters live in California. Yeah. All he right. used to work for Roy Shire, too. <laughs> he and I did a hell of a program based on an arm wrestling match one time. Oh, let's, 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 let's. Drew a shit ton of money at the Cow Palace, then he got a fucking car battery thrown at the side of his motherfucking head and ran out the door scared. I mean, you're, you're, you're very well known for your facial hair. I mean, and, and the way... The I'm, way. A, I'm a fucking beardsman. <laughs> I'm a beardsman. Do I need to tell everyone, what is the secret to keeping such a nice, dark beard like this? All right, well, listen that mean? up. Drugs, booze, and just for men. Mm. All right. Most people would just, you know, probably shave or something, but that's what you recommend. You don't need a razor. It'll fall out in the right places if you get the right cocktail in your syringe. Oh, you may have to use clip. Right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> clip was bad in the razor. <laughs> well, Sex, is there, a, is there anything that you want to talk about that you feel we maybe haven't talked about? Yeah, anymore? I have $50 in my left boot. Do you have any halcyons? How many what? H-bombs. H-bombs. I'm trying to shave that motherfucker's eyebrow who drove me in here. <laughs> I'm gonna drop it in his TV dinner and then just watch me go to town with my bick. <laughs> no, I don't have any H bombs. Oh, Is there man. anything else? You know how to braid a woman's hair? Shit, <laughs> possibly. French style, all the little tiny ones like Davy Boy Smith had. <laughs> Everything with you goes back to wrestling. Do you know anything outside of wrestling? Could you tell us who the current vice president of the United States is? Yeah, Larry Sharp. <laughs> The pretty boy? Yeah, he lives in Hoboken now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He changed a tire on my rat's car in 92. 92? Mm -hmm. What were you driving in 92? Purple Chevette. <laughs> Where's that Chevette now? Do we have any idea? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. I sold that motherfucker for crank in 96. <laughs> That's a fact, Jack. So pretty much your whole life is wrestling. You don't you don't know much. I mean, do you, does a guy like you follow the NFL? Or I you, wrestled or... for 362 wrestling promotions. I mean, from the big ones to the small ones. So when you say covered everything, I've covered everything. Tracy Smothers is a, a friend of mine, but he ain't been near the places I've been. Okay, he's wrestled a bear. Have you ever wrestled a bear? Shit, I wrestled two bears with the same fucking head. 16 arms on that motherfucker <laughs> if you count his legs. <laughs> Some of the shit you say sounds a little bit outlandish. Uh, fuck, that smells awful. Well, that's all the nachos in my Taco Bell. I'm trying to get... Do you know anything outside of pro wrestling? I do you mean, remember Z Gangster when they brought him into WCW based off the Zeus character? Do you know any... Do, do, you, do you watch movies? Is there anything to... In I usually watch old war games tapes. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. You know what? I love that World War III because I got so many of the boys booked who hadn't yeah. had national exposure in so long. Do, I mean, do you know... 90 guys booked and only 60 of them were on paper. You can, believe that shit? Can you A motherfucker name... could get a $500 payday after that because he just showed up on pay-per-view for Turner. That's Jeez. big shit in the 1990s. Wrestling well, was hot then. That was, was before motherfuckers like, you killed it. <laughs> Can, can you can you name? You a, got the old guy with a white shirt, and he wants to drive all the time, and the girl on the skates. Fuck, man, just be yourself. Shit. So how I long, like to see you go nuts all night and wrestle him. Who freight train? He works still. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, the award. Oh, how did I find me? There you go. Dude. He's not cheap either. He's expensive. Well, he won't be on my card then. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Well, you see, I ain't got pockets, so you know that the ones I do have ain't deep, my friend. There's not yeah, much structure yeah, on this friend. show, obviously. Uh, sponsors to pay for me for you. All right, I got one over there. Name's Milky. He's, <laughs> looks like he's just been beaten and raped, but maybe we can get a couple dollars out of him. I don't know what you charge. What's going on with this bandana? Is it like Tupac-ish now? Why don't you leave my boy Shakur out of this? <laughs> oh, you know Tupac? I'm a member of the fucking Wu-Tang Clan. Oh, gee. Of course you are. Old dirty bastard? They're marks. <laughs> I named ODB the one dirty bitch because of me and ODB, the original ODB, the Z gangster motherfucker. Where do you think they got that from in WCW? Me. Why do you think we brought in the No Limit Soldiers? Me. Uh, why don't you fucking add it up? How do you think John Cena got his fucking gimmick? They said, what do we do with this kid? I said, put a white rapper gimmick on him, say he's from West Newberry. We'll throw him out there, let him spit some lyrics, then we'll turn him into the common man like G.I. fucking Joe. It's so a you, box office fucking miracle. Sex and the only Ferguson. reason I can't stay on the creative team is because I can't keep my nose out of the fucking candy bowl. <laughs> so you're telling me Sex Ferguson is the reason we see John Cena on our TVs every Monday night? 
Yes. Okay, then. I did not know that. And you're telling me that you, you, with this Tupac-looking little Listen, headband. You need to watch your ass. You want to wear it? No, I don't, but... If you got an A-ball on you, I could sign <laughs> this motherfucker for you. An A-ball? No, no, I mean, you got an A-ball. <laughs> I said an ape. I was going to give it to you for five, but if you're offering an ape, I'm going to fucking pony why, up. Why, why, why don't we talk about these? Now, I know you pride yourself on your footwear. Uh, yeah, I mean, I do. What, uh, can you describe these? Are these ostrich or are these? These are white alligator come <laughs> cut from the belly. Albino gator boots? No, have you ever looked at an alligator's belly? No, you haven't because you never worked for the Grams in Florida. I did not work for the Grams. You son of a bitch. They, they taught, Steve Kern taught me how to kill an alligator with a stick and a joint. He's a skinner. All you needed was a John boat and an oar and a stick and a joint, and you could make a pair of boots within 72 hours. All right. So, at that time. So you're telling me these are real alligator skin cowboy boots. Yeah, they cost me $1,800. I killed the alligator, but I wanted to pay retail price just to prove I was the fucking man. Please. Huh? <laughs> so you, you killed the alligator, made your own boots, and then paid yourself eight No, 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 no. I skinned the alligator, dried the skin, killed him slowly. Oh. Then oh. I took him to Clifford Mokai out in Texas, used to make Ric Flair's fucking boots. And uh, I had him put together this little number for me that we call success. <laughs> You're you're quite the historian when it comes to your rescue knowledge. Now let, let's move yeah, up. Yeah, fucking obviously. Let's move up a little. Now now we've got this. Now what, 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 what color would you say this is here? It's like a fuchsia. Fuchsia, and it's it's lycra spandex. Yeah. It's not double white because it doesn't accentuate your manhood. <laughs> now, t tell me here. I mean, you're obviously not wearing knee pads. Or... Well, I don't need them now. I wasn't planning to hark until you threw me into that bullshit scenario earlier and almost broke my fucking neck. Now, why would a man like you wear wear fuchsia tights? I mean, do you... it's a little ridiculous. Is it, Mr. Me. Domino, people know who I am. Okay. Yeah, I got you. If I walk into a restaurant dressed up in some sweats and just all hanging out like I'm... We dress for comfort on this show. Like I'm, like I'm, like I'm watching football on a Sunday, which I would never do because it's a fucking work in Las Vegas, and that's how people get paid. Okay, uh, so I think I would look like just a common man. But what happens with these characters is they're larger than life. When you look at me, you say, "This son bitch is larger than life," and you're right. And that's why people pay to see me. So, so you don't watch football because it's not real. Now, I don't watch football ever. But you don't think it's real? You think the games are, you know... No, it's just like them NASCAR. Shit, that's the easiest thing in the world to fix. You got 200,000 dumbass marks in this motherfucker, and you say, hey, Jimmy, hit the brakes so Louie can win. Wait a second. I used to be controlling that shit. How do you think I got in all this IRS trouble? <laughs> you know when Chevrolet was hot in the 90s? Uh, there you have it. <laughs> Hermie fucking Sadler promotes wrestling. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? 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 Because he likes it? Well, no. Because I told this motherfucker when we were hiding money. So, wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. They say that NASCAR is the largest spectator sport in the world. And you're telling me that's all bullshit. They tell one guy to hit the brakes. I didn't say it's all bullshit. They got to sit in the car for four fucking hours and sweat their beanbags off and piss in a fucking cup. But I can determine who wins. Really? Absolutely, same as baseball. Baseball. Oh, these guys are the most mechanical shitheads I've ever seen in my life. Tell us, I mean, the World Series are right around the corner. So you're telling me that these major league baseball yeah, players. Yeah, when it's time to go, call me. You'll be rich. Wait a second. No, no, explain to me how a baseball game works. Now you're saying it's not. I know not. Frank Thomas. The big hurt? Yeah, the big fucking hurt. He's retired. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Who do you think pulls the strings on these fucking puppets? You or did you t you tell Derek Jeter to retire? I didn't tell him shit, but I listened to Frank. <laughs> I made one hundred and ten dollars last week, didn't I? With Frank yes, I did. Thomas? I made one hundred and ten dollars last week. You worked with Frank Thomas last well, week. Well, I called him. The real Frank Thomas, the baseball player. The big hurt. He has his own malt liquor company now. Do you know that? <laughs> How do you think we met? <laughs> so you. you Outside of people like Frank Thomas, I mean, you, you, you know, you, does he, do you know a lot of famous people? Or, yes. So tell me some of the famous people you met. I mean, has Sex Ferguson ever met, like, a president or a pope or somebody like that? Or, I mean, Mick Jagger. The pope! <laughs> the pope. Come on. I mean, have you met, like, Madonna? I mean, you've been everywhere. I'll tell you something. But I need you to cake this.
You say that after everything. John Paul. You smell one hell of a joint. <laughs> Are you saying the Pope smokes pot? Gay fame! The Pope smokes weed? Did I say the Pope? Or said, did you say the Pope? <laughs> you said John Paul. All right, so you met the Pope. Anybody I met John else? Paul off that uh, Octomom show. He was the dad who cheated on her. I didn't mean the damn Pope, man. What the fuck are you trying to put me out there for? Anyone else outside of the Pope has Sex Ferguson met? Famous. I met them all. Charlie Daniels loves me. Charlie Daniels. Willie Nelson. Oh, you're a big. You're into the country music, right? Tony Soprano. Yeah. Dean Douglas. <laughs> Willie the Panda Bear at the Atlanta Zoo. Willie the Panda Bear and Tony Soprano. <laughs> Carl Black Chevrolet in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> the Washington Middle School <clears throat> Fighting Frontiers. Hold on a second. I'm just trying to talk to you, man. Freight train. Do you know who Tony Soprano is? No. He doesn't know who Tony Soprano is, so he can't be that Does he guy. know who Doug Dillinger is? Do you know who Doug Dillinger is? Uh -uh. Well, Go what on. the fuck does he know? <laughs> huh? You ever see High Voltage work a squash match? Who do you think agented that? You. I did. Right. Bobby Walker, Jim Powers, who said, oh, this would be a good team for WCW Pro. I don't know. Maybe it was me. Maybe it fucking wasn't. Oh, yeah, it was. Okay, then. Well, let's. you touched on a few a few names there. I want Bear to me, big man. You okay, Frank Train? I'm good. Are you strike me? You strike me? Left. I'm good. <laughs> well... You seem to like country well, music. shit me up a rope. You seem to like country music. I seem to, or I represent it. <laughs> you, you like country music, yes? Yeah, yeah, I had a dog, but the motherfucker ran away with my wife and my pickup. <laughs> okay. But I got it all back, because I'm famous. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Well, you say whatever you want. <laughs> it's your show. I know, so I'm asking you <laughs> about country music. What would you like to hear? You said you represent country music. I do. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, it means that I'm a free-spirited American man who travels the highways and byways of America, putting asses in seats and making people happy and making girls squirt, quiver, and <laughs> cry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tears in their Stop eyes. Stop it. Welts on Stop their faces. It. What? Asking you about country music and you go into some very fucking. I place. never went down to Georgia. <laughs> and he stole my fucking soul. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? I, don't know I was working for Crockett when my soul was first stolen. And now I'm all alone. All right. Except for all the people who pay to see me. We've learned a lot about you in the last, I don't know, say 90 minutes. Yeah, I wasn't fucking long enough. <laughs> We've learned a lot about Sex Ferguson. What do you, what should everyone take away from this? It's train wreck. No. That, uh... Trying. <laughs> what should everyone take away from this and remember Sex Ferguson for? Live your life to the fullest and always run the fucking train, baby! All right, I gotta pay. piss like a fucking racehorse. <laughs> That's my biological father. <laughs> well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, sex, but uh, we are running out of time. Uh, well, I'll be a monkey's fucking uncle. This just flew by, didn't it? I've really enjoyed myself. I mean, we're cutting it pretty close here. Uh, I had a, I had a lot more to ask you, but unfortunately, your your stories go a little longer than you know where the time we're allotted here. Well, if you want to ante up another payday, I might have another hour. Oh, we that's that's out of the out of the budget. For Monkey sure. tits. All right, that's cool. Well, it was good seeing y'all. Whatever. We, uh, we well, I mean, this is the fir this is the first ever show. Wake up, time to die with Clickconda, but I don't. Yeah, feel I like... feel like I want to fucking die right now <laughs> after sitting with you. Is there anything you want to uh, say before 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 we leave here? No. Anything? Nothing. Nothing. Nope. Nothing at all. If I had a computer, this is what I would do. I go to prowrestlingtees.com slash big LG and buy all the t-shirts. Then I go on Twitter and follow at Impact Doc. 
But I doubt so I won't! <laughs> well, that, that says it for the first ever episode of Wake Up Time to Die with Cliff Compton and my very special guest, Sex Ferguson, and a special appearance by Cowboy Freight Train. Take off your pants, crack a beer, and watch It's Time to Die! Goodbye. <laughs> well, Freight Train, what do you think? I mean, it's not its not often I get, to, I get to see you. I don't see you often is what I'm trying to say. I'm in your hometown of Charlotte, North Carolina. We're doing this crazy show. What's your take on it all? I'll take all these real good. I know we don't see each other that often. We normally see each other maybe about once a year on the independent show around this United States or wherever I come up to a little bit Kentucky area. I'd say we see we see each other more than once a year. I mean, I've already seen you about three times this year. Yeah. Yeah. All right, how's that cowboy hat? It fit real good. I like a cowboy hat like this. Yeah, you look good in a cowboy hat. Thank you. That's a nice dashiki. You know where that's from? Where? That's from Africa. Yeah, from Africa. Real, that's a real African dashiki. Uh-huh. Do you have any of those? No. Nope. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. All right, well, I appreciate you stopping by. No problem. D D is this where you live? People probably think you live at high spots. Uh, no, I don't live in high spots. I be here a lot. Yeah, it's like I your second home. It's like your second home. It's like my second home. Yeah. What do you think of Sex Ferguson on it, honestly? He's, he's a little out there, is he not? Yeah, he is. Yeah, would you be friends with, with a guy like Sex Ferguson? I don't know. I'm going to have to give it a try. <laughs> you give him like a tryout? Yeah, give him a try. What was your what was your favorite part of sex works? Favorite part was when he kept saying he's gonna pay us forty five hundred dollars. <laughs> the rest for WWF. He said he wanna make it back to WWF, go to New York and everywhere else. Do you think Sex Ferguson's really gonna make his comeback? Possible. Possible. Yeah. So you wouldn't be surprised to see Sex Ferguson on your TV? No, I wouldn't be surprised. Would you be 